Shalom and blessings. Welcome to this week's episode of Picking Up the Mantle. Last week, we talked about breaking up the fallow ground. We discovered that in this season, the Lord is calling each of us to break up the fallow ground in our lives. That, are, that is those areas in our spiritual lives that we have let go dormant. If you have not yet seen that episode, then we want to invite you to go back and listen to it. We believe that it will be a huge blessing for your life. This week, we want to continue from where we left off last week. We will discover that as we break up the fallow ground, the blessings come. But as they come, we need to be properly positioned to receive it. We invite you to follow along on this week's episode of Picking Up the Mantle right here on the Elisha Calling as we seek to discover important clues for this season so that we can be positioned to receive all that the Lord has for us, for our families, our city, and our nations. Shalom and blessings. Welcome to this week's episode of Picking Up the Mantle right here on the Elisha Calling. Last week, we received such a huge blessing as we discovered that in this season, the Lord is calling each of us to break up the fallow ground in our lives because he has some new seeds that he wants to deposit and he has fresh water from Holy Spirit that he wants to pour out. But to receive that, we need to break up all the follow ground in our lives that are those things that we have let go dormant in our spiritual lives so that we can be prepared to receive what the Lord wants to pour out. Now this week, we're going to seek to answer the question, do we need to consider our position and are we properly positioned so that we can receive the blessings of the Lord when he sends them our way. To start off, let's look at the life of Elisha. There is so much that we can learn and so many prophetic instructions for our lives in this season as we take a closer look at the life of Elisha. To do that today, we actually need to start just a little bit before we are actually introduced to Elisha so that we can lay a foundation for what the Lord wants to say to us today. So let's turn to 1 Kings chapter 19, and we're going to look at verse 16 and 17. If you have your Bible there with you, I invite you, open it up, and let's read from 1 Kings chapter 19. 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 15 and 16 says this, Then the Lord said to him, now the Lord's talking to Elijah. Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive, anoint Hazel as king over Syria. Also, you shall anoint Jehu, the son of Nimshi, as king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abel-Meholah, you shall anoint as prophet in your place. As I said, the Lord was speaking to Elijah in this passage. Elijah was on the mountaintop. He was in a cave, and he was crying out to the Lord, seeking direction. See, Jezebel had just put a death sentence on the life of Elijah, and Elisha was concerned that he was the only one left, the only prophet left. So he went there crying out to the Lord, and the Lord gave him specific instructions after he assured him that he wasn't the only one left. So the Lord released his instructions to Elijah in a very specific way. He said, go anoint Hegel as king over Syria, then go and anoint Jehu to be king over Israel, and also, Elijah, I want you to anoint Elisha to take your place as prophet. You see, God had a plan. 
in the midst of Elijah's turmoil, in the midst of Elijah's troubles, in the midst of everything that was going on, when it looked like there was no hope, God had a plan. And that's the same as it is for us today. God has a plan for us. It may look like all chaos is breaking loose. It may look like there's no hope and that there may be no tomorrow. But God has a plan. And he has a plan so that we can continue the journey. Just like in this Bible verse, God had a plan for those men that he mentioned to Elijah. Today, if you're hearing this, God has a plan for for you. He had a plan for Elisha, and now he has a plan for you. So let's see what happens when we bring Elisha into the picture, and Elijah actually goes and meets Elisha. So let's jump down a few verses, and let's go to 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19. It says, So he, Elijah, departed from there. He left the mountain, he left the cave, and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen before him, and he was with the 12. Then Elijah passed by him and threw his mantle on him. This is the moment that we are introduced to Elisha. It is the first time that he is mentioned in the word of God. Elijah knew right where to find Elisha, And he knew exactly what to do. He didn't even say a word to Elisha. He just simply walked by and threw his mantle upon Elisha. And then he just kept right on walking. It was only after this that Elisha actually went up to Elijah and they started to talk. So what is so significant about where Elijah found Elisha? Why is it important that we understand where Elisha was positioned? Notice what the Word of God says. Let's go back to the verse real quick. Where was Elisha? It says that he was found plowing. He was in the field. He was plowing his father's field. This is very significant to understand the blessing that the Lord has for us in this season. You see, Elisha was busy tending to the field of his father. He was breaking up the ground or breaking up the fallow ground. Elisha was in the right place when the blessing came from God to his life. Elisha was doing what God is calling each of us to do in this season. He was out there plowing the field, breaking up the ground, just as the Lord is calling us to do in this season. So Elisha was out there preparing the soil. He was out there preparing that ground so that it could receive the seed and the water that he would eventually go and put towards it. Well, he wouldn't do it. Someone else would follow behind him because he actually went and followed Elijah. But he was preparing the ground. So in this season, as we prepare the ground of our lives, as we prepare the ground in the spiritual realm, in our, over our family, in the ground over our cities, as we break up that fallow ground, we can expect to receive the blessings that are coming. In this season, the Lord is looking for people who will position themselves in the field of their heavenly father and seek to break up that fallow ground. That is how we position ourselves in this season. And it's a very important position if we want to be where we need to be so that when God brings his blessings, we can receive it. If we apply the principles that were released in last week's episode, then we will be properly positioned so that we can receive what the Lord has. The Lord has seeds. He has waters of his Holy Spirit. And we need to position ourselves. That field of our Heavenly Father, I mentioned we needed to be in the field of our Heavenly Father. That field of our Heavenly Father is the field of humility, surrender, service, and seeking the plans of the Lord. 
That is our plow that we need to use to break up that fallow ground in our lives. It is a plow that is built with humility, surrender, service, and seeking the plans of the Lord. Now, if you missed last week's episode, we highly encourage you, go back and watch it so that you can make sure that you are properly breaking up the fields and so that you know exactly which field in your life that the Lord is calling you to break up in this season. The Lord had a plan for Elisha's life. He had a blessing that he wanted to pour out. That blessing for Elisha, in Elisha's case, it was the blessing of a garment that would carry him into his calling and into his future. What is it that the Lord is preparing for you? What is it? Could it be a garment of, of, of uh, anointing? Could it be a, a new uh, season of ministry? Could it be a, a new level of ministry? I don't know what that is that the Lord has for you. But I do know that we can properly position ourselves to receive it by breaking up that follow ground. Now just imagine for a minute if Elisha decided not to go out to the field that day and plow. Could you imagine that when Elijah walked by, Elisha was not in that field? He would not have been positioned to correctly receive, or he would not have been correctly positioned to receive that blessing. He quite possibly could have even missed the blessing entirely. But because he was positioned in the right place, the blessing came. Why is that? You see, when the Lord was speaking with Elijah up on the mountaintop, he also saw Elisha down in the field working that plow. He saw Elisha breaking up that ground. As a result, the Lord sent the blessing his way. You know, it's interesting to note that Elisha had no idea when that blessing was coming. He had no idea what the blessing was. In fact, he did not even know that there was a blessing. He was simply pressing forward, breaking up the ground and preparing the soil. We need to be like Elisha in this season in that we do not we cannot be concerned with when the blessing will come. We can't be concerned with what that blessing might be. We need to simply focus on breaking up the soil and preparing our lives and the lives of those around us and let the Lord determine the timing of when he wants to release the blessing. Let him determine what that blessing is. We just simply need to focus our attention on what the Lord has called us to do so that we can be positioned so that when that blessing is released, we are where we need to be to receive it. The Word teaches us that we need to be ready in season and out of season. That means we need to always be ready. Always be ready by doing the work that God has called us to do in this season. And I feel strongly in my heart that in this season, the Lord is calling each of us to examine our lives and break up that fallow ground that has been laying dormant for so long. Over the past several months, we can see how the Lord has been changing everything. He has been tearing down old structures and old ways of doing things in His church. We cannot do the ministry the same way that we've been doing it in the past. It won't fit in this season. That was for last season. But now the Lord is breaking down everything because He wants to rebuild something new. He wants to rebuild a church that is so on fire for Him, that is so passionate for Him. He wants to rebuild a church where He is the focus and not any one man. He wants to build a church where walls of division and separation are removed so that His Holy Spirit can properly flow. In order to do that, we need to follow the instructions and break up that follow ground. One of the things that I feel right now, and the Holy Spirit just deposited this in my spirit, 
one of those things that we need to break down, that we need to break up that follow ground, are the walls of division that we have put in between the body of Christ. Walls of division created by denominations, created by our own theologies, created by race. We need to break those walls down. When you read Ephesians 2, 14 and 15, it talks about how in Christ Jesus, in our Messiah, Yeshua, he had come to break down every wall of division so that we can be one body, united in him by his Holy Spirit. That's just one wall that we need to break down. What others has the Lord been showing you that you need to break up? Hopefully, in this past several months, we have all seen areas in our lives that need to be changed. Hopefully, this past season, as we have been confronted with COVID, hopefully we have seen the follow ground in our lives. Hopefully, through everything that we've experienced, God has revealed the follow ground that needs to be broken up. So, the question for us today is, will we be positioned in the field, breaking up that follow ground so that we can receive the blessing when the Lord decides to send it? Will we be like Elisha? And we, we position ourselves in the field of our Heavenly Father, breaking up that follow ground so that we are ready, so that the ground is ready, so that the spiritual realm around us and around our family, our city, and our nations is ready to receive that seed of blessing and the fresh waters of that the Lord, of the Holy Spirit that the Lord wants to break out? Are we ready to receive all that the Lord wants to send forth? I pray that all of us have taken these past several months to really examine our lives and really seek the Lord for that follow ground and that we would really take it seriously to break it up. Now, if you haven't, and maybe this is all new to you, maybe what you're hearing today is the first time you've heard something like this. Maybe you didn't even know that there was follow ground. That's okay. If you haven't, then there's still time. If you are hearing this word today, then the Lord is sending it forth to let you know that it's not too late. You still have time to break up the follow ground in your life. That follow ground could be a lack of prayer. Maybe the Lord is calling you to new levels of fasting. Maybe you've never fasted before, and the Lord is calling you to present a fast. Those are all follow grounds that we can break up. Possibly, there might be a sin or iniquity in your life that the Lord wants to remove. That also is a follow ground that would stop the blessings from coming. Wherever that follow ground is found, it's time for us to really seek the Lord and ask Him through the help of His Holy Spirit, through the strength of His Spirit, to help us break it up so that we can be positioned to receive what He wants to pour out. As always, we want to leave you with a blessing to encourage you and strengthen you. And today's blessing comes to us from the book of Jeremiah. It's found in Jeremiah chapter 29, and it's verse 13. It says, As you seek me and find me, when you search me out with all your heart. Let me read that again. And you will seek me and find me, when you search for me with all your heart. It says, and you will seek me, and you will find me when you search for me with all your heart. What a beautiful blessing that the Lord has given us today to know that as we break up the follow ground by seeking the Lord, he will be found by us. We can find him. God wants to be found by you. He wants you to find him. 
He wants you to break up that fallow ground because he has beautiful blessings he wants to pour out. So in this season, I pray that each one of us hearing this word would truly seek the Lord and break up that fallow ground in our lives so that we each may have a personal encounter with him. I pray that this word is ministered to you. I pray that the Lord would reveal himself to you in a personal way so that you could see the follow ground in your life, just like I'm doing in mine, so that we can be ready and positioned to receive the blessing that the Lord has. Would you pray with me today? And as we pray, we always want to give an opportunity. Maybe you have, don't know the Lord. Maybe, maybe you're far from the Lord. We want to give you an opportunity to return to the Lord today or come to know Him maybe for the first time. So if that's you, repeat with me right where you are. In the name of Jesus, I ask forgiveness for my sins. I repent for my sins. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Reveal who you are to me that I might know you and I might know my Father in heaven, that I might receive Holy Spirit. I repent of my sins. I ask forgiveness in the name of Jesus, and I ask you, Jesus, to come into my life. Now, if you prayed that prayer today, maybe it's the first time that you've ever prayed that, or maybe you've fallen away and this is, this is you're trying to return to the Lord. Write to us, message us through Facebook, through YouTube. We'd love to hear from you so that we can connect with you and pray for you in a more deep way deep and personal way. We want to be able to minister to you. If you're not in the Kissimmee area, seek out a church in your local area, one that teaches true biblical word and with true revelation from Holy Spirit. Join the congregation and be joined to a fellowship of believers so that the Holy Spirit can use them to minister in your life. But now for every one of us else, I want to pray for you and I want you to pray along with me today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you in this season, show me every follow ground in my life. Show me areas that maybe have gone dormant in my spiritual life. Father, reveal sins, Lord, that have created a hard ground, a hard dry ground or a hard drowned area in my life. Show me, Lord, those follow grounds that I need to be broken up. Continue to show me, Lord, and give me the strength to break up that follow ground. Lord, we ask you today in the name of Jesus, position each one of us so that we would be where we need to be to receive the blessing when you release it. Holy Spirit, help us to stay focused on what you've called us to do in this season. Holy Spirit, help us to wait on you and focus on the task at hand. Now, Father, I pray for every person hearing this word today. Father, I pray you minister to them. I pray, Lord, that the power of your Holy Spirit would visit them, that you would show them every follow ground, just as you're doing in my life. Father, reveal it to each one of us, Lord, in a personal way. Father, so that we can break up that follow ground, and be in the position when you decide to release the blessing. Lord, prepare each of our hearts to receive it. And Father, we just promise to give you all the praise and glory. In the mighty, precious, holy name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Now, as always, we want to leave you with blessings. Be blessed in the name of Yeshua. And may the eyes of your understanding be enlightened so that you may know the hope of your calling in Messiah Yeshua. Blessings and shalom from the Elisha Calling.